All right, doing a video on the um, latest eBay um, find treasure I picked up. Um, yeah, a couple days ago I did a uh, video on this already on the um, shipping or the condition of it. You know, when I received it, the um, shipper um, or seller didn't pack it very well. He did use a little bit of bubble wrap and threw some newspaper over the top, but... Um, not enough bubble wrap and um, um, didn't put anything to um, um, for the tubes no bubble wrap or no support or nothing in there for the tubes and left them in the box and of course when I got it got it the uh, tubes were shattered to pieces and um, cabinets bent up a little bit I even tried straightening it out but you can still see some you know handiwork here and there that center switch was um broken off I replaced it and um it was a surprise box even when I bought it um the seller's like well it got this Mako box here and you know with it all vinyled over and covered up you know couldn't really tell what it was um and it had two tubes in it but the tubes didn't look like the M2057s that come in this um, Super Mako 75 over here. And also this um, Super Mako 75, which has the two M2057s, has a variable here. You know, that is factory. You can vary the bias up and down. And this one did not have that. And I was looking at it and I'm like, well, it doesn't look like anything I've seen. But I was curious about it and I did get it for a good price you know thank goodness for this um, Mako surprise box but I was you know unhappy when I got it and the tubes were shattered and it was beat up some but anyway we did get it going so that's what the top looks like all vinyled up not a bad look but I guess you know I would prefer the um, orange if it looked good but anyway let's see if we can get this off of here I'm a I'm on you. All right. So after I got the tubes all cleaned up, you know the mess, the glass, and everything. Ugh. Come to find out after looking at it that um, it did have two tubes, but they were six volts, and they were in series for the filament that Mako uses a 12 volt uh, filament transformer so does DNA so usually you'll find tubes in pairs um, two 6 volts in pairs for the 12 volt filaments and that's what this was but the one tube was um, only in in line for the filament nothing else was connected to it so it was just there for the filament and they were 6 LB6's so and I noticed that the first thing was there's only one um, plate cap or coming out and I'm like why in the world would you have two tubes when you're only using one plate cap well come to find out that, like I say the second tube was only in there uh, to drop the filament voltage and while I'm up here if you see this um, variable slot right there that's the variable a uh, variable cap for the um, tune that's your tune cap right there um, again if you notice the uh, Mako Super 75 it does not have one um, or on the front you won't see one and the Mako Super doesn't have one at all so I think somebody added that one in here on this um, come to find out a modified um, Mako 75 they took a Mako 200 if you see the four um, holes for the tubes one driving three and they modded it and they made it into basically a um, one two Mako 75 and they added a negative bias and that's what that small transformer is for there as this Mako 200 transformer didn't have the uh, voltages for the negative bias so they added that one there and they added that uh, variable tune cap and you know basically only running one tube and since I didn't actually need the um, I had a 12 volt 8950 I put it that in there so I didn't need the second tube for the um, filament 
so that's it on top and we're gonna show what it looks like underneath here that's it underneath um, that's that um, bottom of that um, variable tune cap I was talking about you know that's the um, tank coil and your load cap that's that other socket that only had the uh, filament wire going to it that I just disconnected the filament and from that and wired it directly to ground on the um, output tube so it's a one tuber and again it's set up for tetrode or modulation mode um, has a variable input tuner and actually they use that to um, set the dead key of this amp similar to a black hat you know where they use the input to uh, vary the dead key um, on this Super Mako 75 here they use a variable they vary the bias but this one has fixed negative bias and they use the input and um, we kind of tested it and the dead key can go from anywhere to 0 to 25 on this one and the two tubers just double that it can go from 0 to 50 on the dead key this one is swing about 500 uh, with the two M2057s, what do you think this one would do with the uh, 18950 in it? And you know, this basic stuff your high voltage caps, your um, negative bias cap on the left. Um, that's the negative bias circuit there. Those two diodes. This over here to the left with the um, neon bulbs, that's the screen. And they use the neons to regulate the screen a little bit so a semi-regulated screen voltage and you know just basic stuff in there that's the keying circuit that doesn't look factory that somebody put in there so anyway I guess that's about enough of that you know looking at it and we got it set for a low dead key like couple watts and let it swing up put the camera down and turn this thing over we are unplugged Tram doctor don't want to get zapped by this thing. It runs about 900 volts. So it would bite hard if you get bit. Okay, we're going to plug it in. And let it warm up. You know, it's got the little indicator light. It's a lot of light in here. It is on, but it's hard to see. So it's warming up. We're going to put it on standby. And... Uh, Put the watt meter going into a dummy load on the 20 watt scale and mud duck midland radio over there. And key down. Got the digital watt meter on the input side of it. And uh, just doing three watts. Audio. Swinging about seven on that one. It's about five on that one. And on peak. That's peak watts on the uh, 20 watt scale going into a dummy load. So um, you're going to take it off peak, put it on a 200 watt scale, and hopefully this thing's still tuned up. And we're going to put it on uh, operate. Going to take that off SSB. That's AM SSB switch. The switches match what you see there. And hopefully we're ready to go and key it down. So here it goes. Smoke test. And that's the dead key, uh, 200 watt scale. Like I said, I got it dialed down to 2 watts. It will dead key up to about 25 if I play with that um, input tuner. And inputs like SWR is 2.8. If I uh, dial the watts up, it would lower that input. It would go down to about 1.4, but I like low dead key. And this is on average. from 2 watts swinging to 150 on a whistle audio audio talking about 50 blowing about 80 watts a lot of swing out of this little modulator eh? and um, last we gonna put it on peak audio oh, in the corner on the 200 Audio, 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 
Audio. Talking a little over 250 peak. Audio. 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 <whistles> Whistling like 240. That amazes me that uh, a whistle does less on peak than a uh, than talk. Audio. Audio. No meters or anything on it. Um, we had a little modulation indicator light. Audio. Well, that's going to be it for this um, modified, used to be Mako 200. Somebody modded it into a um, single tube Mako 75 using a um, 8952. Recapped and uh, cleaned up after the broken glass and the shipping uh, disaster on it. And uh, Mud Duck Radio going into it. Audio. Crown Doctor's pretty happy with that, so I guess we'll put this one on the shelf. We like it a lot, but still, we like our um, super better. This will do the same day key with a swing of um, 500. So, that's going to be it for this one. Bye.